I'm Debbie Nathan, a nutrigenomics practitioner, and together with my sister-in-law, Helen, the chef, we are going to take a peek into the science of nutrigenomics. Our book, Cooking for Your Genes, combines recipes and biology so that you can cook for your genes as well as support the health of your family and friends. This recipe for super seedy, no needy bread is really quick and simple. Assuming, of course, that you are not gluten sensitive, because although spelt flour is a wonderful ancient grain, it does contain some gluten. However, I cannot emphasize the importance of fiber in our diets. So vital. Gut health is closely entwined with brain health, mood disorders, our very sensitive immune systems, as well as detoxification of harmful toxins and for hormone production plays a massive role, this interconnection that all starts in our gut. Our biological pathways <clears throat> require certain vitamins, nutrients and antioxidants for optimal function. The more seeds you pack into this recipe, the greater the health benefit. Seeds are not just for budgies. So let's see how we can get some vitamin E, magnesium, manganese, zinc, and copper into our systems. So the next thing I'm going to make is a seeded loaf. Now, whenever people talk about bread making, um, when, it, when people mention bread making, they think um, it's going to take a long time, that if yeast is involved, it's going to be need to be needed or to be proved. Um, but this is a a dense bread that literally takes, um, I think it would probably take us about two and a half minutes to make um, and an hour in the oven. It has four ingredients. I'm going to put 500 grams of flour into my bowl and a selection of lovely seeds and nuts. So I've got 150 grams of nuts and seeds that are going to go into my bowl. And I'm going to add an extra, or I'm going to add my yeast. So I'm going to put four teaspoons of easy bake yeast. One, two, three, four. Um, a small pinch of salt. And 500 millilitres of warm water. And that ladies and gentlemen, has got to be the easiest bread in the world. I'm going to give it a stir. And you can see it's now all come together into a big kind of gloopy mess. So this is, this is what it looks like when it comes out the oven. Um, and I will slice some so you can see what it looks like inside. Dense but deliciously moist bread, um, which I think would, would also go rather nicely um, on our uh, with our tzatziki. So I'm just going to pop that like that.